Well, good morning to you all, or good afternoon. It depends where you are joining us from. Thank you for, and we appreciate uh, for joining us to our webinar series this week. A couple of days ago, we had an amazing and very uh, detailed webinar with uh, our pre and post of our Croatian cruises or the Adriatic cruises along uh, Croatia. Uh, this is our second day webinar today. And today we will actually uh, talk about pre and post uh, in, in Europe. Uh, we have our own office, operating office in Croatia, who uh, and the, our staff over there are covering um, Europe with any booking you may have for us. But today we will talk mostly about pre and post. Uh, my name is uh, Zehava Biton, and I am the VP of Sales uh, with iWorld of Travel. Uh, my specialty is uh, the Middle East, and I'm actually heading the, the, uh, uh, the division of the Middle East, including Israel, uh, Jordan, Egypt, Dubai, and so on and so forth. Uh, with us today, our great team, uh, Anita Skorik. Uh, Anita Skorik is our destination specialist. Anita is working from our office in uh, Croatia. And Anita is uh, really one of the best uh, person to work with, with such a great knowledge, not only for Croatia and the Balkan, all over Europe. With us also, Daniel Seretello. Daniel is our BDM and he's in uh, New York. Um, he's also our specialist uh, with uh, um, Iceland. He had worked in the past with uh, the Iceland Tourist Office and uh, uh, with Iceland Air. And of course, our uh, great uh, and amazing Alida Peljevic, who will be heading, who will be presenting today uh, uh, the pre and post in Europe. Um, so Alida, please take it away from here. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Zehawa. Now I started talking with the muted microphone. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Thank you, Zehawa. Thank you, Shane, for hosting this. Thank you, everyone, for joining us today uh, in many different uh, time zones. Um, so today is, as Zehava said, we, we had um, another webinar two days ago where we presented the, all the potential combinations connected to our Croatia cruises. And that kind of inspired us uh, to showcase also all the other ideas um, of programs that you can build around uh, your cruises, any cruises that you sell, right? So yes, I I, I didn't really introduce myself. Uh, I am Alida, and as Zehava said, I am the product development here, and that's what I do, right? I develop tours and I develop programs, itineraries, and depending on your clients' wishes or depending on. Uh, whatever we believe is the best combination and best options. So if you guys will have any questions, please drop them in the Q&A. We will answer them in toward the end of this webinar. Uh, and before we dive into it, I want to tell you that everything that you hear today is just an idea, right? I literally put this together uh, just thinking about the different ports in Europe from where different cruises start. Um, and this is not limited to what is going to be showcased today, right? These are just some ideas that can be combined or, uh, uh, you know, extended or make, make uh, them shorter. It is very adjustable depending on what you guys and your clients want. So Shane, we can start the actual slides and presentations. Our first one will be just a little reminder of what we had the other day. Uh, the cruises starting from our Croatian cruises and charters, which is uh, always a Croatian port. 
that is connected to the four of our, of our beautiful ships that we have in Croatia. So this is just a reminder in a couple of days, the full webinar from the other day will be available on our website. If you missed it, you can go and listen to it from A to Z. These are our, our routes that are sailing in Croatian waters exclusively. And then uh, just a few itinerary ideas of land programs that can be connected to those Croatia cruises. And you see here a, a mix of countries um, because you see Croatia where it's located. It has a very convenient location to combine with Italy, with Austria, Hungary, and then all of the countries of the Southern Balkans like Bosnia and Herzegovina, Montenegro, Albania, North Macedonia, Serbia, all the way down to Greece are really wonderful itineraries can be uh, made. So I'm going to showcase just two of them that are probably my personal favorites. The one, the one beautiful itinerary that starts from Italy, the Northern Italy from Milano, very easy airport to fly your clients into and then goes through the beautiful lakes region of Northern Italy through Verona and Padova to Venice on to Slovenia and ends up in Croatia where then the clients uh, aboard the cruise from Rijeka that sails all the way down to Dubrovnik. This is a two weeks all together, but it's a really amazing experience and amazing program. And then the second one that is combined with uh, the cruises that start or end in Dubrovnik, that is a combination with Greece, North Macedonia, Albania, and Montenegro. Both of these programs, guys, can be done both ways, right? Whether you start the cruise from the port of Dubrovnik or you end it there, this itinerary can be done either ways, right? Starting from Dubrovnik, moving down to Venice, and then flying out of Venice or the uh, or Athens, I'm sorry, Athens and or the other way around. And then the same thing with the previous one that we showed as well. Both ways can be done. And let's go to, to the next chapter because uh, we want to also just give you a quick reminder of our Kosher River Cruises to the two departure dates that we have in 2022. This is, of course, a very special and very unique product that we offer. The, the itinerary goes from Budapest and ends in Passau uh, in Germany with uh, the, all of the ports along the way with Bratislava, Vienna uh, um, and all the other ports. This is a 100 uh, percent kosher river cruise. If you have any kosher travelers, remember to offer this to them but of course this happening in east central eastern europe this is a perfect opportunity to build around with different pre and post options these are just uh, please know that this full webinar is available on our website talking specifically about our kosher river cruises and also all the pre and the posts connected to it so I'm just going to run through. I don't want to lose uh, too much time on this, just to give you an idea of um, this, this product that is available to you with many inclusions and beautiful, beautiful uh, ship. Um, so here, all of the pre and the posts that we offer connected to our kosher river cruises, keep in mind that any of these itineraries can be also done without the kosher, right? For just regular... Um, travelers, uh, but we also offer them in a fully kosher um, option. This one starts in Dubrovnik from Croatia, goes uh, through the wonderful uh, Jewish heritage history of Croatia, starting from Dubrovnik and split and going through the National Park Plitvice Lakes, and then in the capital city of Zagreb, and then from there they move directly to Budapest, where they then embark the Kosher River Cruise in Budapest. 
The next one that we have is a really a tour that is in Hungary because Hungary is a very beautiful country and people often really uh, miss kind of the whole thing because they only go to Budapest. While Hungary really has a lot to offer and a beautiful countryside and so much heritage and history, really, really great cuisine. And it's really affordable. Hungary is a very affordable European destination. So here we offer for our kosher cruises, but any cruise, any river cruise that you have starting from um, Budapest, you can always offer these, right? You can have a simple one night pre-stay in Budapest. Uh, we can include some sightseeing or two nights, of course, but we do also offer a six night pre-cruise program that goes all the beautiful places in Hungary, such as the um, the Balaton Lake and the countryside, and they visit many beautiful areas that, to learn the history. Um, in this case of the, um, of the Jewish heritage, we also organize the Shabbat here. So it is a very, very special country. And as I said, uh, Hungary is often uh, kind of people go to, to Budapest and totally miss the rest of it, which is gorgeous. And we can go to the next a slide where we showcase a little bit of, I believe, a very interesting destination, both for uh, uh, Jewish heritage travelers and kosher travelers. Uh, of course, the country of Poland, which is very, very rich in Jewish history, but it is also a very beautiful and very rich destination and also very affordable destination. So any um, let's say any cruise that you have starting from Budapest, you can always offer a program starting from Warsaw, Krakow, and then going into Slovakia and then ending in Budapest where they uh, board the ship. And as I said previously for Croatia and any of these uh, destinations that are um, within within Europe, of course, we can do it uh, on a kosher setting, but we can do it, of course, on a regular basis as well. Let's move to the next one where we will show a little bit more of the post, right? Because we end our kosher river cruise in Passau, which is in Germany. And many of the river cruises do that very same route and end there, even start there. So you here can use these ideas for your clients, right? We can very close and very interesting area close to Passau is Munich, is uh, Nuremberg. Um, we can do the Bavarian uh, castles. This is a very nice area of Germany. It would be a shame really for someone who does a river cruise and doesn't stay for a day or two longer to see these beautiful places. Let's proceed to the next one. Again, of course, we can do this uh, with kosher services or without them just as well, focused on Jewish heritage or not focused on Jewish heritage. These are all destinations where we are very, very strong. Uh, and of course, we couldn't miss talking about the Czech Republic. Czech Republic, one of the most affordable countries in Europe, uh, for a traveler, for accommodation, for uh, uh, attractions and all of that, the cuisine, the food, everything is great. It's so great. And Prague, of course, being the, 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 the gem of, of the Czech Republic, but similar to what I said about Hungary, often people will come just to Prague and kind of miss the rest of it. Here we offer two options, but of course, as I said in the very beginning, we can customize just about anything. So don't take any of these as something that you have to do. It's just an idea and we can of course work around it just like we work for any FIT, depending on your client's wishes and what they want to experience and see. And of course, again, we can do this for groups. We can do this for individuals. It is very, very uh, customizable, right? Uh, but just to give you an idea, we have the two nights program where we end in Passau, but then we take them, we take the clients toward the Czech Republic. It's a doable, very easy transfer. They, they visit the Czeski Krumlov, which is a wonderful area, art novel, full of interesting places to see. And then of course, um, they stay in Prague for two nights and fly out of Prague. 
And we have also offered a five night post cruise program for the Czech Republic that they really go beyond, right? They go to Karlo Vivari, they see this really unique spa town to other places that is really authentic and different than uh, the, the capital city, right? You will see the glass factory, the distillery, there is many interesting Jewish sites. So it's, it's a very beautiful, beautiful destination to explore the Czech Republic. And the combinations that are doable here are really endless. Let's proceed to the next, because with this, I think that we have rounded up the, the Kosher River cruise. And I do want to mention one more time, I know I'm annoying saying it over and over again, but whatever we can offer kosher, of, of course, that we can offer also it in a regular um, setting for non-kosher travelers. <clears throat> and now in the following couple of slides, these are literally just ideas for the different river cruise ports that you use in Europe. I'm sure that you guys sell river cruises and probably from some of these ports. So let's go to the next slide just to feature uh, an idea if your clients are, let's say, starting or ending in Vienna. Austria is a wonderful destination. It has so much to see. If you are there, at least Graz, Salzburg, and Hallstatt. You guys know where Hallstatt, Hallstatt is? It's one of the cutest towns in the world. It's literally like a fairy tale. It's on the lake. It's this lakes region of, of Austria. Here, even in the winter, it's, it's like a fairy tale. And this is doable in three nights. I do always recommend staying longer. We can include even more here. We can do Zelamze. We can do a wonderful uh, uh, daily experience where they would take a cable car to the top of a mountain. So there is really endless possibilities with Austria and also combining maybe with some neighboring countries. Let's go to the next one. Um, another idea for you, if you're selling any cruises on the River Rhine in Germany, then it's most probably Frankfurt, the port. Um, and you can always add at least two, three or five nights and we can combine here Munich and Nuremberg, the Bavaria castles. There is beautiful sites to explore uh, in Germany. Let's proceed to the next. Um, I know that many of you, and we have received quite a few requests for pre and posts that are connected to Amsterdam. So here is just one, just one of the endless possibilities that we can offer here as a pre or a post, a combination with Belgium, starting from Brussels to Antwerp and then going into Rotterdam and Amsterdam. I believe it's a wonderful program and experience that can be done within three to five nights. It is always your, your clients will be thankful to you, right? Your clients will be thankful that you suggested them to take an additional few days. What we have to be careful every time that we put together an itinerary, of course, we have to know, you have to tell us exactly which cruise they're taking so that we know which ports are included with the cruise and we include always, of course, something else. Let's go to the next one, please. All right, so Switzerland and Basel, right? And I, I believe this is, Switzerland is such an amazing country. It is small, but what can be done in five to seven nights around Switzerland, visiting places such as Luzerne, taking the, the, the train express that goes, we can do a tour that is half done with the train, half with the coach. And the scenery, it is really, really incredible. And of course, we can customize here uh, between five to seven nights for Switzerland just as well. Let's go to the next. I don't want to lose too much time on each of the programs. And as I mentioned in the beginning, these are all just ideas. And here uh, we did some of the ports uh, that are connected to river cruises. But I am sure that you guys also sell sometimes some Mediterranean cruises, right? 
And of course, these are just some of the ports in Europe. And I just want to say right up ahead, we can handle anything for you, right? We can handle anything in Europe for you because we are very strong in Europe. We have our own offices. We have very intimate and personal knowledge of all of these destinations between Anita and myself and the rest of the team in Europe. Really, you just, just ask us for help. We can put together any itinerary in any European destination that you want. Let's go to the beginning of this um, uh, a couple of slides that are ideas of what you can do. For instance, if you're selling a cruise that starts from Barcelona, right? So you can fly your clients into Madrid. You can do a little bit of the countryside, Zaragoza, Tarragona, really, really um, uh, beautiful places. And then just to, to, to spend time in Barcelona is amazing, right? This is five nights can be done in four, but I would recommend five. Let's go to the next because it's kind of connected. The next itinerary, it's also from Barcelona, um, starting from France, flying your clients into Marcel, going to Montpellier, Toulouse, and then Andorra. You know that Andorra is a small landlocked country between France and Spain. I think it's a great selling point, see three countries in six nights and have this amazing experience before or after your cruise. Keep in mind that all of these itineraries can be done both directions, right? Let's go to the next one. And this one uh, was the static one that I was uh, expecting <laughs> on the last slide. Sorry, I got a little confused. So this is if you would just book a hotel for your clients for a couple of nights or six nights in Barcelona, and we would just organize day tours for them, right? They don't have to move around because Barcelona has a great location. We can do a day tour to Andorra. We can do a day tour to Montpellier, Girona, and similar places. It's really an interesting and beautiful area. Barcelona is a, a really one of the nicest cities in Europe with the nicest energy. And this is just starting from two nights all the way to six or seven nights. This is something that is highly recommended. Let's go to the next. And let's go into the next destination that is very often a starting and ending port for cruises, and that is Civitavecchia. Civitavecchia is the port town um, that is, let's say, that is Rome's port, right? But uh, the capital of Italy, Rome, is not on the shore of the sea, so it's a little bit inland, and Civitavecchia is the main port uh, for Rome. Guys, I mean, it's, it's possibilities are endless here, right? Uh, but what I know, I know that the vast majority of travelers, the US travelers that have been to Italy already, they mostly went to the, to the Northern areas or done something essential such as Venice, Florence, Rome and similar. So what I recommend here to you guys, if you have, return clients to Italy, I recommend doing a little bit of the South, right? And yes, of course, Naples, the Amalfi Coast, that is something that is always uh, popular. But for instance, Paestum. Paestum is, is part of Magna Grecia, right? It's ancient Greek history. And then from there going into Puglia, Apulia is, as many say, as many people say, is the new Tuscany, right? You have, you go through Basilicata, visit Matera, very unique UNESCO World Heritage Site, and then go to Albero Bello, another insanely unique UNESCO World Heritage Site, and then on to Bari. We could do a food tour in Bari. The food tours are amazing. And then to Monte Gargano National Park. I promise nobody does this, okay? This is something that I know because I lived there because it's beautiful. It's off the beaten path, the small town of Vieste and the whole national park is gorgeous. So that's, this program can be done in and out of Rome before or after a cruise. It's really, really gorgeous. 
Let's go to the next one, please. Another idea of a program that can be done, of course, with Rome. And this is, let's say, this one is for someone that is going to Italy for the first time, right? They're going maybe even to Europe for the first time. This is the essential Italy itinerary. Venice, Florence, and Rome, six to seven night. If they do have more time, it's better. We can do more. We can add more here around Florence. We can take them to Cinque Terre. We can take them um, for some foodie regions such as Bologna or in Tuscany and wine tastings and all of that. So Italy really has endless possibilities that you can add in starting from two, three, up to seven nights. It's, a, it's really it's never ending as many possibilities uh, as they are in Italy. Let's go to the next one, please. All right, here's another one, right? You can fly them into Milano, do Cinque Terre, the beautiful Pisa, the Leaning Tower, and then Florence. On the way, we can stop in Assisi if you have any clients that are interested in in Christian heritage, right? So very, very interesting option as well. Let's go to the next shorter one. If they just want to do a couple of days in Florence and then end up in Rome and then start or end the cruise from there. Also great, great idea itinerary. Um, and of course, just like we had stay in Barcelona and do different tours, of course, we can do that from Rome as well. Many of the destinations in Italy are doable within one day, uh, just for them to go for a couple of hours visit and then come back to the same hotel, starting from two all the way to five nights. If they wouldn't even go anywhere out of Rome, they can literally go sightseeing every day because there is so much history in Rome that of course, they would still have to, what to do and what to see. Let's go to the next port because I do believe the next port is, I'm sorry, okay, yeah. We have also the option just to stay two to five nights in Tuscany while boarding your boarding the ship, whether from Rome or even from Genova. Some of the, uh, if you sell any Costa or MSG cruises, they do start from Genova and Savona as well. Uh, so that's a great uh, combination, Tuscany also combinable with Cinque Terre as well. And now we have here also, of course, just to stay for two to five nights in the Amalfi Coast, one of the most beautiful areas of Italy. Um, it is also, it would be like just staying in one place with doing daily exploration, which I think it's very relaxing and very nice, especially in the summer in this region, they can also go to the beach and have some relaxing time as well. Let's, let's go to the next one. All right, so next, next big Italian port uh, for the Mediterranean cruises is Venice, of course, and endless possibilities of programs that start and end in Venice, just a couple of nights extra can be very beneficial. But here is the first idea a bit longer that goes to the beautiful Italian lakes of Como and the beautiful Itali Italian lake of Lake Garda with the town of Sirmione, through Padova, Verona, Venice, and then in Venice, they start the cruise. Or the other way around, of course, if they end it in Venice. Let's proceed to the next um all right so this this one i featured this one with the starting port in rome of course it can be done the other way around as well right so your clients will be flying into rome and then ending in venice and starting the cruise from there um yeah we can go to the next one and this one is um i think a great opportunity to connect um, to see two additional countries together with Italy and the cruise, and that would be Croatia and Slovenia. And you will see here that I did not include Dubrovnik because most of the cruises will, and will stop in Dubrovnik if they are doing the East, Eastern Mediterranean. Uh, so this would just feature Zagreb, the capital city where your clients would fly into and then going to National Pla uh, uh, Plitvice Lakes National Park and from there to Rijeka, the, the region of Istria, on to Postojna Caves in Slovenia, Trieste. Guys, 
Trieste used to be uh, just a big port town, right? But what they've done with it in the past 20 years of so, or so, Trieste is a really a great stop to do on the way toward Venice. Um, let's go to the next one. All right, a um, bit shorter, doable in four days, just featuring the capital city of Zagreb with Ljubljana, the capital city of Slovenia, the beautiful Lake Bled, and then going on to Venice and starting the cruise. And now, guys, of course, have you ever had clients going on any of the, of the Greece cruises? And of course, Greece, just like Croatia, has amazingly beautiful islands. But Greece has also very interesting continental parts. And Greece has the vicinity of Albania and North Macedonia here. We can do a fantastic itinerary that they will never forget. Let's start from three nights if they're doing just Greece up to seven nights, a classic Greece program with Athens and, and Delphi and Epidaurus and all of those sites, the Meteore, the, the monasteries in the sky and all of those famous Greek destinations that are a must see and a bucket list literally for many, many people. And then from there, they go on a cruise and, and they start from, or, 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 and they see all the other beautiful islands of Greece and really have that experience of seeing both the continental parts and the islands, which are two different worlds entirely. And also combining here itineraries with Albania and North Macedonia, visiting some of the places such as Ohrid, which has a double UNESCO protection, both as a natural site and as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. And then Albania, which I often say it's the best kept secret of Europe. Wonderful, wonderful destination, very affordable and very interesting. Let's go to the next one, please. All right, and of course we cannot no, we cannot not <laughs> mention France because I do know that uh, quite a few cruises also start from Marseille. Uh, we can go to the next slide, please. All right. So here, of course, you would fly them into Paris, go to Bourges, Geneva in the, in the border, going into Switzerland, and then Lyon, and then from Marseille, they start the cruise. This is such a good, good, good uh, itinerary and program. Um, in the next slide, we also offer another option here. Uh, if we can go to the next one. Yes. So also from Marseille, you can combine it easily with Italy, right? Fly your clients into Milano, visiting the famous place of San Remo. If you uh, know anything a little bit about Italian culture, San Remo is a very, very popular festival town where all the famous Italian singers once a year, they have a a big festival here. It's a very, very popular uh, place, a little bit jet set, but beautiful, really beautiful. From there, guess what? You get to see another country. Please go back. Another country, the country of Monaco, another small, little, beautiful, special and unique place. And going forward into Nice and Cannes, and of course, ending then in Marseille, where they would be starting the cruise. This is an awesome, awesome region. It's not the most affordable, I have to say that, but it's really, really beautiful. If you have clients that are interested into France and love also Italy, I think this is a great combination. Let's go to the next one. Um, th in the next slide, we have the just, let's say, stay in Marseille and just explore province right this is a beautiful area and region just for two nights Mar marseille itself it was one of the cities that really surprised me it has some really nice sites such the notre dame du marseille you have a little train electric train that you can take and go around the, the city it is really beautiful and really nice uh, and of course we can take them into the the province region with all the beautiful uh, areas over there. Let's go to the next one, please. 
oh my God, uh, we're, we're done. <laughs> I was hurrying the whole time because I thought that we have a lot, many slides. So I kind of felt I need to go quick through this. And as I said it in the beginning, guys, these are just ideas. And I know that there is more ports. I know that there is the Southampton in the UK, there is um, Genova, there is many other ports. But what we wanted to tell you today, really, that there is no limit of what we can do for you in Europe. Whether it is an FIT, it doesn't have to be connected with the cruise, we can handle it. Whether it's a group, or it's a cruise, we can help you do the upsell and offer something to your clients that you will be able to make more money and they will be very happy and thankful that you offered it to them because they will have the time of their lives. And that's it for my presentation. I, I forgot something, Zehava, please come in and tell me. And if you guys have any questions, please drop them in the Q&A. And Shane, I will ask you kindly to go through the questions and we can answer them. Most definitely. Um, Zaha, would you like to speak first or I'll jump into these questions? Um, let's, uh, let's answer first the questions and uh, then maybe uh, we'll say a few more words. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, Johnny Doctor says, with COVID, do you help guests with documents and testing as they move between countries? Absolutely, right? That is something that, uh, of course, they will have to handle, um, like, you know, pay for it uh, and things like that. But we will give them all the instructions or where to do it, how to do it. Um, and of course, we can organize transfers if they need it. But so far in Europe has been quite easy with the testing because they provide it on almost each and every airport. So that's really not a challenge in Europe. The regular price, of course, depends from airport to airport, but it ranges between 20 to let's say $50 at, at max for, a, for an antigen rapid test. Um, and also, of course, uh, we would always provide the, the requirements right what exactly they need to do to safely get into one country and into the others and for what we have found out there are also options of self testing that can be bought and and even ordered from amazon they can take it with them and uh, they will only need to have um, a wi-fi connection and do a call and test themselves um, and then get the negative test back from there. It has worked for our clients through the past summer and even some of our agents that joined our fam. So that's always also a good option and a good idea to for the clients to make it more simple, simple so they don't need to go somewhere. They can just test themselves. Not, this may have already been answered in that, but uh, a follow-up was what if driving or rail between countries for COVID-related issues? So it's the same, right? So uh, basically you need to fill all the requirements, uh, even if it is very probable that nobody will ask you for it, right? I went into, a, a, I, I crossed a couple of borders in Europe during this past summer, and the situation was that nobody ever asked me. And I was even a little bit annoyed because, you know, I paid for the test. Why is not nobody asking me for, to show the test? It is the way it is, right? It is your responsibility to do it and to have it. And basically what they do, they will trace back in case that somebody gets ill and gets sick. But so the requirement exists and you have to do it just the same for crossing on a land border or on an air border. Whatever is necessary to do, you have to do it, whether it is a test, some countries have locator forms and stuff like that. It has to be honored and done online to have everything in case that somebody asks you or in case that something goes wrong, somebody gets sick somewhere so they can trace it back, right? But as I said, very often they won't even ask for it, especially on the land crossings. Fantastic. Do you work with an 
or do we have an FIT for, or do we work FIT for Portugal, Spain combos? Ooh, absolutely, absolutely. So I haven't included um, uh, Portugal here in this presentation, particularly, even though I was uh, uh, thinking about it, but it's a long, uh, it would be a long um, journey from Portugal to Barcelona, let's say. But the way that Portugal and Spain are combined the best is a combination of Portugal with the south of Spain, with the Andalusia region. Uh, so let's say doing, uh, if you want to do Portugal entirely from Porto to, to Lisboa and then down into the, into the Algarve region in the south and then crossing the border there and then doing Andalusia. Um, I think that's a wonderful, wonderful program. But the, the, the biggest mistake that uh, people make here is, um, let's say they don't have enough time to do both, right? This is very rich areas and you wanna make sure that they have enough time to do it. So if, if they only have a week, sort of speak, I would rather recommend to do just one of the two. Let's do just Portugal in one week and do it in the best possible way. So they have the best possible experience. And then to do, of course, the next time that they go, they can do Andalusia and then stay there for a week. If they do have two week of time, at least to do this, then it's doable. Of course, we can organize it even on, on a smaller uh, amount, number of days, but it is a little bit, in my opinion, right? In my opinion, it gets a little bit too much in that in that uh, short time to see both Portugal and Spain. I hope I answered the question. The question. A follow up on that same question: Do we have Jewish heritage tours for Portugal and Spain? One hundred percent. Yes. Very interesting Jewish heritage in both in Spain and Portugal. And I'm, I'm sure Zehava could help me out with this question. Our CEO, Michael Gelber, has been really uh, connecting with the Spanish Tourism Board. So we, um, Zehava, can you help me yeah, out? Yeah, I mean, with, you know, we yeah. are actually, uh, uh, you know, the Jewish heritage, uh, traditionally Jewish heritage was part of uh, what we have offered to uh, many travel uh, advisors in the past and presently. Um, Spain and Portugal are two countries that are very rich with uh, uh, Jewish heritage, uh, starting from uh, 12, uh, in particular, of course, the 14th century. Um, and uh, uh, it's an incredible uh, uh, tour. We are in contact with uh, uh, the tourist office of Spain. Um, uh, going on uh, a kind of, um, uh, I would say, a program together or uh, um, to, to really emphasize the uh, Jewish history and the Jewish heritage of uh, uh, Spain and Portugal. So absolutely. Uh, just to let you know that uh, we have the rights for the, the, uh, the, the for Jewish heritage, I would say the link itself. Uh, I, uh, Shane, how do you say it? The, uh, Is it the trademark for Jewish the heritage trademark, tours? Yeah, we have the trademark for it, just to let you know. And uh, we are very strong with Jewish heritage, whether it's for Spain, Portugal, of course, Europe, China, India, any place uh, you uh, have in mind. I, by myself, I, uh, in the past, I've uh, led many Jewish heritage tours, um, to different parts of the world. So if you have any questions, I'll be happy to help you. That's awesome. Yeah, I mean, you know, uh, thank you so much, uh, Alida. Uh, thank you, Zehava. As, as always. Uh, thank you. Uh, thanks everyone who joined today. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, thank you for everyone. Of course, our part of the team that have participated with us today. I just want to uh, emphasize that uh, our company is a legacy company, a legacy company that has different uh, uh, important principles. Uh, for those of you who watched the video of our uh, uh, amazing leader and CEO, uh, um, uh, Michael Gelberg, we are working exclusively with travel agents or travel advisor community. We do not work with the public. 
This is one of it. And the second principle is that when you are dealing with us, be sure that uh, you will be communicating with top professionals who have, uh, who are experts and have the expertise to deal with each region in the world. So, and we do cover the world, but once again, each of the region you will find amazing uh, professionals who have full knowledge to help you. And if we don't have the knowledge to, uh, for a certain place, we have um, over 30 uh, um, uh, uh, partners in the world we are working with. Only yesterday I had a travel advisor who was interested in a group to uh, uh, South Africa. I was in South Africa several times and uh, and I've communicated with, we had a Zoom meeting with uh, one of our partners there. It was an amazing Zoom meeting. Uh, uh, he answered all the questions. We had a lot of planning and we are going to have a group hopefully uh, next year to South Africa. So what I'm trying to say, um, we are here for you. Uh, we see it as a partnership, as a very important partnership and as such, we are really here for you to assist you with whatever we can, whatever we can in order uh, to make you the hero of the, the booking. Of course, we are paying commission. Our commission for a full FIT is 18% commission. When I say full FIT, it means uh, hotels, uh, um, uh, tours, uh, transfers, and so on and so forth as well as 18% uh, commission to any of the cruises that you may book with us. With any groups, we will offer, uh, uh, we will offer you a net price. So once again, we are here for you. Uh, call us, communicate with us anytime. Thank you so much, Alida. Thank you all. And thank you uh, for my great, great team. And by the way, I think that among all of us, uh, we have about more than a hundred years experience. So, uh, so be sure to communicate with us. Thank you so much. Anyway, thank you so much, Shane. Thank you so much all and uh, uh, happy holidays to all of you. Thank you. Bye. Fantastic, have a great one.